Viva la revolucion! That's the battle cry, my friends, of Hispanic Americans that are leading the revolt against the socialist government of Joe Biden. Or maybe it's just a fun way for me to tell you the largest minority group in America is rejecting the across-the-board failing policies of the worst president in the last 150 years. They're saying no to socialism. Joe Biden and the Democrats are not doing anything to look out for you. And their policies are driving this great nation to its knees. And they continue on. Because they care far more about power and their own personal wealth than they do about you or your family. It's obvious. And really, there's no other way you could argue that. Look, it all began on the first day in the Oval Office when the decrepit and senile Joe Biden began doing the bidding of Barack Obama, Susan Rice, and the other puppeteers that are really calling the shots. And they are doing what they can to reduce America to just another nation. We're not exceptional. We're just a country. Nothing great here. And reduce the peasants, that's you, to serfdom. Which is making me rethink the entire student loan debacle, too. But we'll get to that next week because the U.S. government has put millions of young Americans on the hook for tens of billions of dollars in monthly payments. And they'll never pay off the debt. But again, I digress. We'll get back to that. Today, we're looking at a stock market. It's plummeting. And gas prices and inflation are skyrocketing. The cost to finance a new car has reached a new record high. Listen to this. $660 a month, the average new car financing cost. And that's for six years, 72 months. And used cars, not much better. An average cost there of financing of $550 a month, six years. I mean, it's killing people. Consumer spending is now stalling, too, and that is something that the markets are also not ready for, meaning they could fall a lot farther. So far, $3 trillion in retirement savings. It's been wiped out. It's gone. $9 trillion in all, and it's getting worse. For those on fixed incomes, the inept and reckless policies of the socialist central planners in Biden's administration, well, it could mean poverty in the years to come. Despite working a lifetime and saving along the way, devastation is coming. Housing starts are falling and farmers are also on the brink of collapse in some places because they can't afford the cost of diesel fuel or fertilizer. My friends, the storm isn't on the horizon anymore. The storm is here. And it took less than 18 months for Joe Biden's incompetence to swamp our great nation in debt and in despair. We have to get serious about stopping the damage Joe Biden is doing right now. And then we have to turn things around first. First, we have to correct the worst energy policies ever put out, ever unleashed on this country. And put American energy back at the front of the line and protect the energy companies from the whims of these socialist politicians. It can all be fixed. In fact, it will be, but we have some rough roads to go through before we get there. Because the Biden administration is sticking to their guns. And as long as they do that, they will turn more and more Americans against them but bafflingly, they're doing it anyway. 